Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. They have over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 15, Wool Omnibus by Hugh Howey. Wow. Where to begin? Let me start by saying that this is the best book I've read in a long time. The story was amazing, keeping you turning the pages, not wanting to stop reading, and not wanting the story to end, because it's so good. There's not extra fluff, the prose isn't flowery, and yet it is written with much more beauty than most of the stuff I read. It has a way of giving you the story without extra padding or heavy description or exposition, and yet makes you take a breath every once in a while to appreciate the refined, poetic way Hugh Howey writes. This guy is a gifted storyteller and a gifted writer. You don't see that that often. It isn't easy to write in a way where the words don't get in the way of the story, and the reader is able to just take it in and enjoy what's happening to the characters. If you get that in a book, you know you're in good hands. But when you can do that and still sprinkle in amazing prose that has such a poetic beauty with wonderful images, similes, thoughtful ideas, well, you get wool by Hugh Howey. Beyond all of that, the story world Hugh has built is so awesome. You just want to keep reading more about it. I'm so glad he's now writing the shift books, going back in time and telling us how the silos came to be. This is a side note, not part of the book review, but uh, I must have written this quite a while ago because the shift omnibus is already all out, and I read it all, and it was great. And then another omnibus called Dust came out after that, and that happens after the wool omnibus, and that was also amazing. So back to the review. I cannot wait to dig into the first prequel book, First Shift. This guy is my hero. He has been cranking out these wool books at an amazing pace, and you'd think he'd spent years on them. They're just so well written, and the stories are crafted so well. Now that I've read them for pleasure, I think I'll have to do a slow reread, taking notes on why it is so good, so I can learn from it as a writer how to do it right. Hugh Howey does it right in so many ways with Wool Omnibus. Best book of 2012, hands down. If you don't want to take my word for it, the first book is free at Amazon. What are you waiting for? If I were you, I would just pick up Wool Omnibus Edition and get all five of the books in one. Trust me, you're not going to want to wait the minute it will take you to go download the rest of the story. Then, when you're done with that and you know what I was talking about in saying how amazing Wool is, you can read Hugh Howey's prequel novels, First Shift Legacy, Part 6 of the Silo series, and Second Shift, Part 7. <laughs> yeah, this was written, uh, I guess, back in 2012. I'm recording this in December of 2014, and not only can you get the entire Shift Omnibus now, but you can also get Dust, which is what happens after Wool. The Shift Omnibus is what happens before, which is really cool, because as soon as you're done reading Wool, you just have to know how the world came to be. You have to know. And back to the review again. The dude writes so fast, there may be more wool books by the time you're reading this. Or listening. So enjoy all the wool goodness Hugh Howey has to offer. Thanks for stopping by the blog. Now back to reading more wool. Thank you listeners for stopping by this podcast. Just wanted to let you know... That, for you, the listeners of this podcast, Dan Dan, the Art Man's Book Reviews podcast, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their service. And so I want to personally recommend Wool by Hugh Howey. The audiobook is amazing. Um, I listened to the audiobook, the very first version, which was narrated by Minnie Good, and um, 
Some people think she overdid the character voices a little bit. I didn't. I think she did an amazing job, and I absolutely loved her narration of Wool Omnibus by Hugh Howey, narrated by Minnie Good. Um, but I think there are a couple other versions out there. One, I believe, is by a British narrator, so you could listen to it in a British dialect. Um, and then I think there's another American narrator, so there's lots to choose from. I could not recommend Wool Omnibus enough. It's probably in my top five books of all time. Uh, no, I don't know why I even said probably. It is. Um, it's amazing. It's so good. It just draws you in. I'm kind of one of those readers that's way more about like the adventure and the story and the fun stuff, not so much the, the world. But this book, not only was it like gripping and a page turner, but it makes you really think and it makes you really want to know more about the world that the characters are in which is kind of rare for me. And so the, for this book to do that to me was pretty amazing. Uh, and I just had to know more. So I read all of the omnibuses. It's like a whole bunch of fairly short books and then collected into one omnibus. And it's pretty cool because Hugh Howey will like publish a really short novelette or novella at a time. So you get more story like really soon because he writes so fast. And then he'll put it all into one book. That's a big one. And omnibus just means like a collection of stories. So yeah. Can't recommend it enough. I would recommend that you get the audiobook narrated by Minnie Good, but go to Audible and you can listen to a good almost five-minute sample of each of the different versions, so go check it out. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash Reviews, and you can get Wool by Hugh Howey narrated by Minnie Good or any other audiobook of your choice. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash Reviews for your free audiobook. Now, back to the review. Oh, man, that, that was a pretty good review I posted. I, I shared a lot of what I loved about it. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I know that I talk up a lot of books. Probably every episode is me talking up the book because I love books. I love reading. And I get really excited about stories that I love. And I don't tend to review books that I hated. Um... So that's why you're going to get a whole bunch of books that I loved in this podcast and why I loved them. And I love this book because the, the writing was really, really good. The story was amazing. Like, I guess one word I would say is intriguing. It just like sucks you in. You just have to know what's going on. Why is this world like this? Why are these people living in an underground silo? Why can't they go outside? What's the society like? How are they living there? You just have to know more and more. The more you read, oh, and his characters, you grow to love the characters. Their characters are so good. And Hugh Howey, as a person, is just an awesome guy. If you know anything about him, you know that he's a really cool dude. Uh, just super genuine and nice and like down to earth, even though he has amazing success self-publishing. And now he still self-publishes his eBooks, but he has, uh, a big book deal with one of the big five publishers solely to publish his book in print on some of his books, which is pretty amazing. He keeps all the rights and all the publishing of the ebooks. So anyways, you guys, I would probably say that of all the books I have reviewed so far, this is the one that you should finally go get that audible trial for and have a listen because you will love The Wool Omnibus by Hugh Howey. That's all I've got for you guys this week. Um, Come on back next week for a book that is called Spartanica by Powers Molinar. I just finished this book yesterday as I'm recording this on a Saturday afternoon. And it's a YA book, and I'll tell you all about it next week. All I'll say is I'm going to give it five stars. I haven't uh, written out my review yet, but oh man, it was so good. It was, it was a great read. I genuinely enjoyed it. So... Come on back next week and hear all about it. And after that, I will be reviewing The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown, which is not one that I'll be raving about. So, they're not all going to be sunshine and rainbows coming for me on this book review. I have liked some of the other books by Dan Brown, but The Lost Symbol fell short for me. So, in a couple weeks, you'll hear all about that. You can find me at dandantheartman.com, at dandantheartman on Twitter and Facebook and Google+, and all that good stuff. Thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you later. 
This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivative Works License. Music provided by Kevin McLeod over at Incompetech.com. Thanks for listening. In a lonely corner of the galaxy, a single silver starship travels between the stars. Hey, voice guy, why in tarnation are you talking about some starship? This here story is about how me and my folk were kidnapped. But, but, but. Just a moment, human. This story is about my mission, not about you. Okay, Mr. Smart Ship. What is your mission exactly? Hmm? Don't remember, do ya? I remember the mission. You don't remember nothing, you big lug. Now hush up and get out of here. I remember just fine. I remember stuff. You don't remember nothing, Zeke. Now just you get over there and stay out of my way. As I was saying. As you were saying nothing. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. Be quiet, human, or I'll jettison you out into space. Just you try it. Galaxy Bellies, a podcast about a ship and some humans from the Appalachians. They might just take the universe by surprise. To hear more, search for Galaxy Billies and subscribe on iTunes or go to www.irreverentmuse.com. I can terminate all of you at a moment's notice. Sure you can, you sissy starship. You'd be nothing Oh, shut us. up, all of you.